The alveolar tap or flap is a type of consonantal sound, used in some spoken languages. The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents dental, alveolar, and postalveolar flaps is The terms tap and flap are usually used interchangeably. Peter Latifoged proposed for a while that it may be useful to distinguish between them, however, his usage has been inconsistent and contradicted itself even between different editions of the same text. The last proposed distinction was that a tap strikes its point of contact directly, as a very brief stop, and a flap strikes the point of contact tangentially. Flaps are most typically made by retracting the tongue tip behind the alveolar ridge and moving it forward so that it strikes the ridge in passing. This distinction between the alveolar tap and flap can be written in the IPA with tap and flap. The retroflex symbol used for the one that starts with the tongue tip curled back behind the alveolar ridge. This distinction is noticeable in the speech of some American English speakers in distinguishing the words potty, tap, and party, flap. For linguists who make the distinction, the coronal tap is transcribed as and the flap is transcribed as, which is not recognized by the IPA. Otherwise, alveolars and dentals are typically called taps and other articulations flaps. No language contrasts a tap and a flap at the same place of articulation. This sound is often analyzed and thus interpreted by native English speakers as an R sound in many foreign languages. In languages for which the segment is present but not phonemic, it is often an allophone of either an alveolar stop T, D, or both or a rhotic consonant like the alveolar trill or the alveolar approximant. When the alveolar tap is the only rhotic consonant in the language, it may be transcribed R, although that symbol technically represents the trill. The voiced alveolar tapped fricative reported from some languages is actually a very brief voiced alveolar non-sibilant fricative. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Voiced alveolar flap. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Features. Features of the alveolar tap its manner of articulation is flap, which means it is produced with a single contraction of the muscles so that the tongue makes very brief contact. Its place of articulation is dental or alveolar, which means it is articulated behind upper front teeth or at the alveolar ridge. It is most often apical, which means that it is pronounced with the tip of the tongue. Its phonation is voiced, which means the vocal cords vibrate during the articulation. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Topic. Occurrence Topic. Dental or denti alveolar Topic. Alveolar Topic. Variable Topic. Alveolar nasal flap Topic. Features Features of the alveolar nasal flap Its manner of articulation is flap, which means it is produced with a single contraction of the muscles so that the tongue makes very brief contact. Its place of articulation is alveolar, which means it is articulated with either the tip or the blade of the tongue at the alveolar ridge, termed respectively apical and laminal. Its phonation is voiced, which means the vocal cords vibrate during the articulation. It is a nasal consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the nose, either exclusively nasal stops or in addition to through the mouth. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Topic. Occurrence Topic. 
Topic See also Flapping Index of phonetics articles Voiceless alveolar flap equals equals notes <laughs>